this is the card visual consisting of my total connection these are the number of companies i have connected and these are the invitations which i have sent and i have used the word cloud visual uh, by downloading it from my microsoft power bi and all the skills i have mentioned on my linkedin can be seen here in the word cloud visual there is a connections by company and you can see i have uh, a lot of connections in different companies uh, but most of the connections uh, is from k electric as i am an electrical engineer so you can see uh, the most of the connections connected are from k electric i can click here uh, systems limited so one company is selected there are 66 connections uh, you can click on many of the places and you can see uh, the visualizations can be changed so when i am clicking on these uh, areas you can see uh, the positions of those persons can be seen in the table as well okay so i am clicking here or if i am clicking on systems limited so you can see these two positions are available if i am clicking here so you can see the data engineer position is available so these are the received and uh, sent connections uh, i have used a donut chart these are the followed companies and this is the ar uh, basically this is the slicer and you can see in the form of list and the orient is horizontal uh, let me click on this 2018 so you can see in 2018 i have 394 connection 2019 the graph goes on it's 930 2020 961 21 and so these are the distributions of connections by air and uh, if i click unclick on it you can see these are the total years and uh, mobile and market contact the contacts which are made using mobile or you are using direct linkedin and this is the very important thing i want to show you okay uh, so you can see here the name of the position is assistant professor in 6000 around connection you can see the assistant professor uh, the position mentioned assistant professor is 106 and there are 75 organizations uh, in which these people are working and these are the most common keywords used on LinkedIn so in all my connections there are total 84 positions named as data scientists so if uh, someone is scrapping uh, LinkedIn for hiring some positions so if you are using some keywords on your position on your LinkedIn so you can see from here these are the common words used by people so you can see machine learning engineer 62 uh, people have used uh, 62 connections have used this word machine learning engineer in their position associate software engineer internship trainee associate professor you can see i have distributed it uh, in uh, uh, descending order and very few positions have named uh, named themselves as ai engineer computer vision engineer so if there are very few uh, names available uh, so you can predict that these are the less search or less used keywords so if uh, someone is hiring uh, so it, they can find the common keywords among linkedin so use your keywords wisely and these are distributed according to their count and on this second column there is a total number of companies so data scientists there are 65 companies in my connection and these 65 companies have uh, data scientists have people who have named their position or who have given the position of data scientist or data engineer so these are some common keywords uh, available on my linkedin okay so these words are used by connections used by people uh, for telling their position to the world and now this is the bar graph of the same chart but in this bar graph i have uh, used uh, some of the positions of my interest so you can see here uh, in this bar graph here it is written a uh, total positions there is a software engineer position uh, if on linkedin many people 151 of my connections have used their name 
below their name they have used the position of software engineer and there are 117 companies that have hired uh, the uh, the pupil and their position name is software engineer so data analyst 139 and companies 97 so you can search by companies so assistant professor 75 maybe these are universities and 84 connections named as data scientists and companies who have data scientists 65 so there is a, a very meaningful visualization and you can uh, explore a lot of things if you are an, a machine learning engineer or you are uh, an NLP engineer so that's all uh, these are the visualizations from my LinkedIn and you can click any of uh, the visualization and the graph can be changed so there are a lot of things and lot of insights or lot of productive information so we can explore uh, these information uh, by using uh, some techniques, some strategy in the BI. So that's all for today.